Thanks to the generous participation of our congregation and the professional expertise of two dedicated oratory members, St. Francis de Sales Oratory in South St. Louis is pleased to present the results of our first member's survey. For more than a century, the Church of St. Francis de Sales has been the spiritual beacon of South St. Louis, even as the original German immigrants' grandchildren and great-grandchildren grew up and moved away. Since 2005, when the church became an oratory of the Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest, the church which has always been fondly known as the Cathedral of South St. Louis is experiencing a rebirth. Every Sunday, its pews are again filled, now with a diverse congregation from all over the St. Louis metropolitan area and beyond. Who are we now? Where do we come from? And what brings us here in such large numbers Sunday after Sunday? and on so many other occasions throughout the year. These are the questions we put to you, the faithful, and we are happy to present your detailed and helpful responses. This survey was conducted over a six-week period from December to January. We received a total of 200 responses, representing 200 households and comprising 550 individuals. Both members and visitors of the oratory were included. The community of St. Francis de Sales Oratory includes a whole spectrum of ages and stages in life. From empty nesters to bustling families, from the newborn to the old and wise, and everyone in between. Our families range in size from 1 to 11. A full third of our households have children under the age of 18. The median age of all attendees is 29 and the median age of those over 18 is 46. Many of the members and guests of the oratory travel from far and wide to attend the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite and to be a part of the traditional Latin Mass community. Just where do they come from, and how far do they travel? Members and visitors attending Mass at the Oratory on a regular basis travel from as far away as Knox City, Missouri to the north, Carbondale, Illinois to the south, Hobstadt, Indiana to the east, and Dixon, Missouri to the west. We also received visitors during this six-week period from as far away as Florida, Virginia, and Belgium. But let's not forget those who come from just down the street. 87% of attendees live within 30 miles of the oratory, and half of those live within 10 miles. More than ever, the towering church of St. Francis de Sales is the city's beacon of tradition for tomorrow. Over half of our households come to the oratory every week for Sunday Mass. Travel costs, inclement weather, and personal factors often make it a challenge for other attendees to come more than three Sundays a month. These patterns of attendance are the same regardless of whether the household has children under 18. Just over half of households also attend Mass during the week, an average of three days per month. Three quarters of those surveyed say they also attend special events at the oratory, such as feast day celebrations, summer at the oratory, the Seminary Society Breakfast, and Kirchweifest, the anniversary of the Church's dedication in 1908. Interestingly, distance alone is not a significant factor in the decision to attend Sunday Mass at the Oratory. On average, those who live more than 50 miles from the oratory attend Sunday Mass nearly as often as those within the 50-mile radius. Why do people come to St. Francis de Sales Oratory? We asked respondents to check off all the reasons most important to them. Tradition was by far the most popular response followed by architecture, music, and the sermons. Vibrant community life is also important to our congregation, but people seem to recognize that it flows from a common love of traditional worship and clear Catholic teaching. 
After having viewed the data on the relation between mass attendance and distance from the church, it is not surprising that proximity to the church is the least important consideration for today's congregation. In the other category, the most popular response given was the reverence found at the oratory. Although additional comments were optional, many generous souls gave us the benefit of their thoughts. The 100 written comments were overwhelmingly positive and contained many constructive suggestions which we take very much to heart and which will help us to serve you better in the years to come. Here's a representative sample of what you, the faithful, think of St. Francis de Sales Oratory in 2011. Thank you for your enthusiastic participation in this survey. May our holy patron bless you all abundantly.